In this episode, we talk about StreamBot 0.1.12 and the upcoming 0.1.14, OBS version 28, plugins, the WebSock Kits 5, and the changes upcoming to VRFLADS Fast Track. Hello, and welcome to StreamRobot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome StreamRobot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. So you may have seen that the new version of StreamRobot 0.1.12 is now out. This has got a lot of fixes, stability improvements, and also it's got WebSockets 5 support. This gives it native compatibility with OBS 28. We'll be covering in a moment how to upgrade and change once that's been done. You may be thinking, should I upgrade yet? The only scenario where you shouldn't upgrade is if you're using an action, which is the OBS take screenshot sub action. So I don't think this is used in any redeems as yet, but if you are using something like that, you may want to wait for the upcoming 0.1.14. You may want to keep an eye on the change logs in the StreamBot wiki to see what's coming up in the new versions. So you can see here, there's some fixes to Lumia Stream, which is added in 12. So it's unlikely to cause you an issue there. Um, there's some improvements as well in speech recognition too. So just to recap on upgrading, downloading, the update is the first place to start. Once you've opened up the zip file that contains with that, and I highly recommend backing up the folder that StreamRobot is in, so on the parent folder, you can right click, compress the zip file. It's probably the quickest way to do a uh, backup there. That will then create a new zip file for it. I got a couple here from before. When that's completed, we can go back into the folder, select all of the files from a zip file, and we just copy all the files into the folder itself. We'll get prompted to replace them. And once that's done, we're ready to start StreamRobot. The first thing you'll likely see when starting this, apart from the prompt from Windows Smart Screen, is going to be about the scopes changing. Now StreamRobot 0.1.12 and 0.1.14 both do more with Twitch and you need to get permissions for that. If you get the scopes prompt, you need to go to your platforms, Twitch, accounts. There we go. <laughs> Took a while for the error message to come up. So we'll need to reconnect to Twitch, which will open up a window to authorize for your normal account. If you use a bot account, my recommendation is to get this URL here, copy that, put it into a new in private window for Edge or incognito or equivalent window. You can then log on as your bot account, which prevents you from having to log in and out from your uh, browser with the, the different Twitch accounts. At that point, you're most of the way there. If you're using OBS version 28, I want to upgrade your WebSockets connection to WebSockets version five, then we need to go through the following steps. Under the stream apps, OBS, you, you might find it uh, just shows disconnected after you upgraded OBS. What you'll need to do is you'll need to change it from 4.9.x to 5 there. The, the port number changes there. The password will need to be at least six characters. Uh, it's just something a bit more uh, creative than the numbers there. Um, make sure connect and auto connect are there. This means that you're ready to upgrade your uh, WebSockets connection on OBS when you upgrade to OBS. You do not need to do this until you update OBS to OBS 28. So that then wraps up our part on StreamRobot and let's go on to OBS. OBS Studio 28 is now out and actually even the first hotfix 28.0.1. This includes support for some great features like HDR, 10-bit, 
and a bunch of bug fixes as well. Again, question, should we update yet? The main thing that we're going to have problems with with OBS Studio 28 is plugin compatibility. There's a plugin compatibility page, which you can see for Windows, most of the plugins are available. So this will show you that you are able to update. You may want to refer to some of the plugin pages to, to details how to do that. You may need to download them, which may not show in this list. Things like Stream Deck, for example, you need to go to a web page to download a new version there. So it's worthwhile checking plugins first before upgrading. If they're not ready, I suggest you hold off. If you do have older plugins, you'll be prompted when you start OBS. It'll say they're disabled. So at that point, you can identify the plugins you need to update that you haven't done yet, download them, and restart OBS. You should be able to start OBS without any prompts. Now, if you've gone from OBS 27 with the, the WebSockets 4.9 plugin, as you would normally have for StreamBot, you need to update this. Just the settings, however. So if you go to Tools and OBS WebSocket Settings, within here, you may need to re-enable the WebSocket server. Some port 4455, password needs to match what's in stream of bot. You enable that and apply. And then within stream of bot, it should reconnect within a uh, short amount of time, and it should then pop up in the connected WebSockets uh, sessions there. That should be all you need to do, and that should work. We can see here, it's just popped up from Streamerbot. We've now connected to OBS, and we're ready to go again. And finally, a short note on my fast track. If you're looking at implementing this over the next few days, so this is early September 2022, I suggest keep OBS on version 27 first. The actual install needs something which works with the older version of WebSockets. Should be tomorrow or the day after at latest, where I'll update that so the fast track package will work fully with the latest version of StreamerBot and OBS. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media, and to StreamerBot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide StreamerBot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you, Nate, for making a great bot, and please consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.